How's it going there guys? Sinus Taka here for a video. This video right here, a quick little video, some movies I have right here to talk about that I get recently. Just some flicks from a couple of companies to talk about right now. Then after that, I meet up with a friend of mine and a you know, subscriber of mine, also Andros Drake. Oh, his band, Panzer God, black metal band, death metal band, black metal band though, at a show over here by close by my area in San Diego to check out a show which I went to last week. I got some footage of that, me going to the show and talking to him and show, showing off his band. Really cool stuff. So look out for that toward the end of the video. But first of all, let's get down to some reviews. <laughs> first up here by Arrow Video is this one right here. Early 80s slash, I think from 1981. Is this one called The Slayer? Very sought after, kind of a rare one to get. And I've never seen it before. It's my, 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 it my very first time checking this one out when it came out. It comes out. It came out yesterday on uh, August 29th actually. But uh, this was a pretty cool cover. That cover out really, really rad. And I definitely was curious to check this one out. As I said before, here's the alternate cover of there inside the old VHS cover. I think this was only available on VHS, maybe on DVD too, but I believe it's the very first time on Blu-ray. Um, pretty neat movie. Um, takes place as this woman. She's like an artist and stuff, but as a kid, she had these weird visions of someone stalking her in her dreams. So she goes out to this uh, like a couple's retreat. Her her like her her husband and her uh, friend and her uh, boyfriend husband. We got to like this middle of nowhere couples retreat by the beach to kind of get away to maybe clear her mind. But she but she still has these visions of this uh, like almost like like almost like like psychic visions of what's going on with the deaths and people gonna go missing on this island with her loved ones and friends. So it's an interesting thing, pretty neat, um, pretty damn good deaths in this thing. But the movie itself for me was a little bit underwhelming. It was a really slow burn movie, which is okay. I don't want a slow burn movie, but it took a while to set up each scene for the death. So kind of like the first half hour of the movie, I was getting a little bit sort of tired a little bit. I kind of picked up with the death, but then after that was a slow burn part and things like that. So the movie to me was just an okay watch. It wasn't an amazing watch. I expected a lot more because of the cover art right there. It looked really badass. But the movie itself is just okay in my opinion. But a lot of boatload of good features in this thing. You have a cool commentary track. So behind the scenes of with uh, the, the actors talking about the movie and stuff and some sort of film historians talking about the flick itself. All kinds of things in this. Uh, actually, you get trailers, all this stuff in this thing. You know, photography, uh, original poster art, all this stuff loaded up in this set, which I saw parts of that. And But the movie itself was just okay, I thought. Just an okay watch. But still pretty cool to add to the collection. But just okay. Expect a slow burn style movie. If you're not into slow burn style movies, you'll probably will not like this. But if you like slow burn, old school kind of horror stuff, don't mind waiting for a while to set up each death, which is, which is okay with me, then you'll definitely dig this. Um, but the movie's just okay, I thought. Next up here are some, a few releases by Olive Films is this one. First up here is the 1970s version of The Island of Dr. Moreau. Not the one made in the 90s, but this is the old old school one, the H.G. Wells story. This is adapted to the movie, I think, for the first time they did this one. Really good cast with Burt Lancaster and Michael York. And Michael York's character is on an abandoned shipwreck. He's out in the middle of the ocean, and he goes on this uh, island and stuff like that. and Burt Lancaster's character is like this weird scientist, you know, Dr. Moreau, and on this island, he has these weird experiments with these serums mixing uh, animals and humans, and trying to make these hybrid beasts, like these werewolf-type mutant beasts, and all hell breaks loose with the experiments and stuff like that, and there's all this crazy stuff goes on toward, you know, throughout the movie and stuff. It's a pretty damn cool movie, pretty good 70s movie. You like 70s type stuff? You definitely get a kick out of this. Here's the back of it right there. I enjoyed this a lot, actually. Uh, it was really my very first time watching this version of the one I've seen before was the 90s one with Marlon Brando as Dr. Moreau. But this is the one that I've seen. This is the very first time me watching this one. You have audio commentary in this thing right here and a little, um, you know, um, theatrical trailer of this thing also as, as the extras. Check that out. So, Pretty dang cool set and pretty dang cool fun watcher. If you like especially like 70s movies, like monster type horror flicks from that from that time period, you'll definitely get a kick out of this one right here, The Island of Dr. Moreau. Next up also by all the films and slasher video is this one, Dracula in Vegas, directed by Nick Millard. And this movie right here is a shot on video movie. So expect a five dollar budget with this one. I had no idea what to expect when I was watching this. It was made in 1999. Definitely has that 90s flavor too. It's like the vampire. And he has this horrible, bad Transylvania accent. The movie has a lot of flaws in it, but it's fun to watch because it's so weird. But it's nothing, don't expect nothing amazing if you do get this. It's just, you know, home video looking VHS camcorder style from the 90s or in Vegas, which is cool because they have a lot of like footage, which I think they did, probably just did guerrilla style. They probably stole it of the old casinos. They don't have any more like Stardust and things like that. And the old Treasure Island. And they're out there like filming on location, which is pretty cool. 
and but the but that's such a kind of a bad movie because he's all walking in sunlight and stuff like that and and sometimes he gets hurt by the sunlight but it makes no sense because he's in the sunlight it's just, it's just really bad it's just the really bad acting like it's just totally homemade but, feel like, but it's fun because it's so weird and things like that and you also have you have a commentary too with director Mick Millard explaining the movie and all that kind of thing but definitely a pretty fun watch for if you like like low budget cheese like Z quality cheese not even beast is Z quality cheese you'll definitely like this right here you know, Sean video stuff in the 90s pretty fun to watch this is the very first time this is on a DVD I think it was only on VHS before but yeah this is the inside of it right over here not the DVD itself but yeah interesting watch right here Dracula in Vegas really cheese ball fun but and just super bizarre and strange so next up here about all the films is this the classic flipper lovable dolphin tv show season one over there on blu-ray for the very first time looks great on blu-ray if you like your fans up like these 60 shows like you know stuff on you know tv land and nick at night back in the day you'll definitely enjoy this set right here three blu-ray discs in, in this set right here there's that one that one and that one um, looks really good on Blu-ray, this set right here. And it's, you know, Flipper. you got to love Flipper, the lovable dolphin. They go on adventures with a sidekick, his human sidekick. It's almost like Lassie, but with a dolphin. And it's just fun, fun stuff. Family, fun entertainment, classic shows. If you're, if you're older, this will bring back some memories of watching this back in the 70s and early 80s. If you remember watching these shows on reruns a lot as a kid. I remember seeing this on, as a kid back in the day. I got Nickelodeon stuff. I used to always watch this along with Lassie and things like that. And Dennis the Menace. So it brings back memories of that. So just some fun family entertainment right here. Flipper, out now. Last but not least is this fun black exploitation flick starring Fred Williamson, Hell Up in Harlem. My very first time checking this one out. Fred Williamson, great actor from back in the day. He did a bunch of cool movies like Inglourious Bastards, Black Seas. You know, I heard good things about this. Never seen it before. Early 70s, grindhousey black exploitation flick. A lot of shooting in this thing. It's really great. Pretty much his character, he's a, he's on revenge because he's a, he's a mafioso. He's Italian mafia guys try to kill him onslaught of bullets but then they didn't get him so he's healing up and he goes after them take his revenge on them and a whole mob and other gangs throughout the city of old school 70s new york very very cool stuff right here very fun great shootouts in this thing cool like shaft style music with the guitar you know that kind of funk you know just this great i love this it was like you know like like a fun death wish type movie this was really fun shootout school like i said you know crazy language he's like you know, they get like grimy new york it's just fun fun stuff definitely enjoy this one it's really really good they have commentary in this thing by director larry cohen and moderated by steve mitchell director of upcoming documentary king cohen so they talk about the film right here and other stuff in the, in the commentary of cohen's other works really interesting to listen to right there i was listening to that the other day really really cool this is a good one man. hell up in harlem great great stuff man i don't believe it for the very first time really good one right my reviews just a few reviews like five or so reviews links down below of these two companies if you want to get these films at more check them out and next up right now check out the footage of me going to a little club venue to check out my this bam my boys bam panzer god check them out really cool really neat stuff a lot of cool makeup they wear in it it's really really lad so definitely if you guys enjoy it it's about five minutes or so of footage in there nothing too long but i just want to throw a clip in there and each you guys enjoy that and i'll get right back to that after that i will talk an adventure kind of thing Hit up this place called the Bancroft. You can sort of see right over there the Bancroft. Check out my a metal band right here, my buddy of mine named Andros Drake. He's a he follow me on YouTube for a long while now, and we're like VHS heads and stuff like that. I never met him before. He's doing a tour right now. He's headlining the show tonight. His, his band's name is Panzer God. Really damn cool metal band, like a you know, black metal, death metal band. They're gonna be playing here tonight, so I'm gonna meet him for the very first time. Should be really, really rad. I'm gonna record a little bit of it, get him on camera if I can, and just you know talk to him because he loves VHS. That's how he discovered me, and I love you know VHS. Gotta love it right there. So I'm going to right now. Check it out. Let's go do it right now. It's got some metal. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Have to go inside here. Check it out. I've been in this place a long time ago before. It's like a little cool little dive by the metal here. Pretty cool. So we are inside the Bancroft right now, and it's a pretty cool looking place. It's a little small. Venue for bands. One of the guys I'm gonna meet, my one buddy of mine, uh, called Cool Fan Pants of God. He's over here somewhere, but it's pretty soon. It's the first time meeting them, too. It's pretty cool, though. They're playing um, Escape from New York in the background. Check that out. Love that movie, Escape from New York. It's all the beers on tap. It's for like a metal type show, you can just get some nice tall cans of PBR. Can't go wrong with that. It's just, it goes good with the venue metal of PBR. Another fancy, just straight beer. What's up, 
my buddy here, Andros. What's up, man? What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? We've been like, like you know, friends online and stuff. Never yeah. met the person before. VHS friends. VHS buddies have been following me on, uh, like on, on YouTube for a while. YouTube. That's like, like, all that good stuff. And like, he's like VHS. And you're in this band. You're headlining tonight. Yes, sir. Panzer God, right? Yep. Did I said it right? Panzer God. Yeah. Panzer God. Okay, good. And so freaking cool. That's that VHS right there. VHS and something else, it says right there. VHS and. <laughs> ah. That's right. So it's been before because he's got a full on makeup on pretty soon. Yeah, right. So yeah. before, then I saw the after, of, of course. A yeah. bit. I'm drinking some beer right now, getting, getting beer fuel, but so cool to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, right? Badass. I can't see that before. Awesome, man. So it should be good stuff. <laughs> Here's your CD right there. Look at that. Hell yeah. Check it out right there. Very cool. Give me a t shirt, man. How cool is that? Look at this badass t shirt. Check this out. Freaking cool, man. I have to go on stage pretty soon. Check it out. Hands of God. Freaking cool, man. Awesome. You look a little bit different right now with the makeup on. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Oh, yes. Fuck yeah! Sometimes I go check you guys out. You're killer, man. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Here's your guy, man. Some vocals. Oh yeah, vocals. Are just so awesome. Awesome, awesome. Grayson, you, you could perform with the vocals and <laughs> like yeah. guitar. Oh fucking God. crazy, man. It's Look at the makeup. There it is right there. <laughs> VHS for life. VHS for life, That's my man. Buddy right here. Bam, right my there. Right here. VHS brothers right here. Yeah, yeah what's up? That's what it's all about, man. Gotta bring the VHS love to everybody. Dipshits, misfits, unite. You goddamn right. You guys are going to be hitting up LA tomorrow. LA tomorrow, yeah, yeah. Fucking going all the way up to the, the California coast, and from there, it's like going to Texas. Long Beach, Oakland, Texas. Freaking badass. Portland, man. Oregon, forever. Oh, yeah, guess, uh, check out this cool tattoo. Look at this. Look at this. So, if Jason goes to Manhattan, Jason's he's taking, he's taking over Portland right there. <laughs> Portland, Oregon. I thought it was amazing. That's thought it was a killer tattoo right there. Yeah, but yeah, good stuff, man. It's awesome meeting you right there. Yeah, Freaking buddy, cool. Sure. Finally to do it after a while, like yeah. a long time. Yeah. Like, oh, a couple years probably. Right? Years, yes, Something like that. Yeah. So, really, really freaking cool yeah. to, like, you know, meet up and chit chat and good stuff like that. Yeah, and I think you want to plug right here about your band? You want to anything? Any, uh, Facebook page, we're called Panzer God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Link down below. I'll put a link down below so you guys check them out. Yeah. Thank and you. the good stuff like that. And hell yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You guys enjoyed that footage right there. It was a really cool show. My man rocked the house. Got to love some black metal. It's always cool. I haven't been to a black metal show in a long time. Mostly go to do a death metal shows or deathcore. But that was a cool black metal night right there. Really, really neat. He's on tour right now. He lives up in uh, the Portland area, so he's on tour going up the coast. I think he's going to Texas, too. I don't know now since we had the storms. I think that's on hold for sure, probably. But, yeah, good stuff there. Andrew, Andros, you rock, man. Thank you so much for the free shirt, man. You kicked butt, man. I love this shirt. Look at this thing. Rules, man. I love it. And just you guys are great musicians. Awesome, awesome stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Love you guys thought about. And, uh, yeah, let me know what kind of upcoming releases you're going to get this week. And I'll catch you guys later on the next video from Sinistalker. I'll see you next time. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Time for me to go out and get some Crystal Pepsi. New Crystal Pepsi. I gotta get some. I'll see you. Gotta do that.